How do we create a better society? According to Kristen Godsey, who's a world-renowned professor at the University of Pennsylvania, there are three specific things that we've got to keep in mind. First and foremost, we need to remember that we need to embrace utopian thinking for hopeful innovation. If we don't allow ourselves to truly think big and push boundaries, we're never going to be able to transcend the limitations that we have today. When the founders came up with the idea of the United States, for European monarchs, it would have seemed like the most disastrous utopian thinking ever, yet here we are. So first and foremost, let's embrace utopian thinking. Let's allow ourselves to dream big. Second, we have to balance traditional and modern values to create a truly sustainable society. So this sense of harmony and balance is so critical. As we dream big, let's not just dream big in one extreme or another, but rather dream big and how to synthesize things that seem to be in contradiction with each other. So for example, for those who are proponents of traditional family values and those who believe that we shouldn't be so stuck in the past way of doing things and we should form and organize ourselves in different ways, what's the way to create environments where both kinds of individuals, both kinds of beliefs can live side by side and flourish? What does that take? Also, if we want societies in which people can innovate and create incredible value and benefit from the value that they create, how can that be also balanced with a sustainable society where at the same time as this innovation is going on, everybody else is also becoming better and better off. And finally, we got to make sure, especially as business leaders, that we're creating truly fulfilling workplaces and that our structures are adaptable. So rules that may have been needed, whether that's in our workplace or in the countries that we live in, rules that may have been created to help us have some kind of order and predictability when they no longer serve us, let's make sure to remove those rules. When they are stifling creativity and innovation and a sense of belonging, let's figure out how we can overcome those. So with all of this in mind, I encourage you to think about what are the key things that are holding your society back from being better? How can some of these three pieces of guidance from Kristen can best help you? And if you wanna dive deeper into this topic, we have a wonderful hour long interview with Kristen, where she shares the latest lessons from her book called Everyday Utopia. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care.